Today I want to talk about the purple or the really dark red veggies and fruits. So let's start with blackberries and blueberries. So blueberries um, are considered a superfood because there's lots of vitamin C and K and manganese and there's some studies out that shows it may slow the progression of Alzheimer's. We know it lowers blood pressure and it can um, lower the risk of cancer and it really aids in digestion. And then in there I also have blackberries which are one of my favorites. They contain the most vitamin C of any fruit and they also have um, a lot of vitamin A so it's good for eyesight and it does lower the risk of type 2 diabetes. So that's a really important thing. Grapes are in there too. I just made a little fruit salad here. Um, it's an also it's an um, excellent way to get vitamin C and vitamin K and potassium. Um, and all of those boost our immune system. And grapes um, fight off free radicals that can damage um, our cells. And so it can fight the aging process and it also fights some types of cancers. Way over here I have an eggplant. And eggplant are technically a fruit but we call them a vegetable and they really help with digestion. This is one of the best veggies you can eat for digestion because it contains so much fiber. It also improves bone health and it has phosphorus, copper, and magnesium. So that's really great. Um, copper is um, iron and it's, it's, so it's great um, boosting your red blood cells and it can prevent anemia or if you have anemia it's a great natural way to um, get some of that. The next one are beets and beets Usually I buy them with the tops on because I like the greens. I'll cut, wash them really good, cut them up and fry them with a little salt, or I'll make chips out of them. And they're just really yummy when they're fried up. So, But the store didn't have any with greens on. They're really rich in folate, and they, so they play a key role in um, our growth and development of children and also for heart, um, heart health and it can help lower blood pressure and it's also high in copper. Back here I have cranberry juice. Um, now we know cranberry juice or any of the juices are high in sugar so we don't want to drink a great deal of them um, and it can also affect people with acid reflux. What I like to do is take a small amount to add it to my water. I tend to drink more water if I add some kind of juice so I'll add a little bit of cranberry juice. Um, it's really great again for fighting age-related diseases and it treats and prevents um, urinary tract infections or UTIs. But we do have to be careful because just like a lot of these vegetables, if you are taking a blood thinner, we really need to be careful with that. So just kind of an FYI, if you are taking any of those, you should really check with a, um, a doctor before you eat a lot of them. And then we have um, cabbage, the red and purple cabbage which again is my favorite. This is related to the cauliflower and kale family and again they're saying this may protect against some types of cancer. It does help with weight loss because it's again very high in dietary fiber and do you, any of you remember the cabbage soup diet? That was kind of a fad but that was a healthy and still is a healthy soup because it has all kinds of vegetables in it. Um, but it has a lot of vitamin D which can boost bone health. Um, getting back to eggplant, what I like to do is just slice it and fry it on each side. You can put breadcrumbs on it, but if you if you don't want to have the extra um, carbs, just um, fry it a little bit on each side in some olive oil or coconut oil. And then I will um, put a little bit of um, either salsa or some kind of a red sauce on top and eat it as, as an hors d'oeuvre. And then we have prunes. Prunes are purple also are really high vitamin A and it really is a great source of dietary fiber. As you know a lot of people eat a couple of these to um, stay regular but they're really prunes and they're pitted and then they're dried and they're you know really good as a little munchie. They sell them in those little packs. I like to take these when I travel, the little packs. So there's either three or four of them in a pack that you can eat, but it contains vitamin D, calcium, iron, potassium, vitamin K, and again, copper too. So that's just my little choice. There are lots of other blue veggies and fruits, but these are some of my favorites and hope you'll try all of them. Um, we can get them through supplements, but it's much better if we can eat them fr fresh. Talk soon.